Hi there, we're so glad to see you return for more Explore Tulsa. And what better way to celebrate the red, white, and blue than to step out on the field of dreams with a Tulsan who's made us proud out on the diamond. They make movies about the kind of life Steve Bowling has lived. And we're lucky enough to have him here to share some of those great memories with us. I think football athletically was probably my best sport, but the opportunity to go and play at a higher level, uh, baseball was the best sport for me to concentrate on. I played football and baseball in, in the college. I uh, actually played basketball one year. I uh, decided that wasn't going to work because I probably wouldn't be eligible if I continued to play three sports. You know, it came a point in a decision when I was going to be a senior that I was going to make a commitment to play baseball year round to see. One, was I good enough to go and play at the next level? I knew probably in football that wouldn't be the case because I'm not a very, wasn't a very large person. That just kind of drove me to kind of concentrate on baseball and see if I could go and play at the next level. I actually went from rookie ball the next year I went to play in AAA. I missed, I didn't go to A ball or AA and, and was able to make that transition. It was a tough transition. AAA was in Sacramento, so I went from New York to California <laughs> in, in a short span. And from there, I went and played uh, instructional league that year and uh, went back to uh, spring training. I actually went and worked out with the big league club and then went to Spokane, Washington. Uh, still with Milwaukee, we just changed where, we were, where the club was organized and I had the opportunity there to play for Frank Howard. He called me and says, okay, he said, you're going to the big leagues. So I flew back to Spokane, got my stuff, sold my car, uh, flew to Milwaukee. And uh, you know, it was pretty surreal. Uh, Milwaukee wore blue shoes then. And uh, we wore black in Spokane. And so they didn't have any blue shoes that were my size left. So I said, well, you'll have to you know, see if somebody can loan you their shoes. Robin Yacht, who's a shortstop, and, and he play, he started his career in, in Newark as well. Uh, he said, here, I've got an expert, just take these, keep them. Well, they were half size too big. <laughs> and uh, so I, did, I, got, I got called up to pinch hit, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get a base hit, my first at bat, and, and running around the bases, I'm about to run out of these shoes because they're half size too big. <laughs> I mean, I got to play with Henry Aaron. Uh, we, be he, he, you know, he, we became close friends in terms of the time I was there, and he would always have me on his home run hitting team. He said, I'm a rookie, you're on my team. And, uh, you know, we'd have this little home run derby during the end of the batting practice, and I was always on his team. And it was amazing to actually be on the same field with him. I mean, you know, you, you think you're, you're ready maybe physically, and it just takes a while to adjust to that middle, whole mental thing of like, you're in this sport and you're playing against these guys that are gonna be in the Hall of Fame. What I've been able to probably enjoy and get to experience is just obviously getting to hear his stories and then just uh, meeting those, those players that he played with um, in those relationships and getting to meet those folks and and then just um, seeing how he's given back to his kids and kids in the neighborhood and and uh, teammates with our our children and so that's what's been enjoyable for me to get to see. You know really when I decided not to play uh, of course I had had a you know major injury but uh, I knew there was something better in life that I was supposed to be doing. You know, that became apparent uh, with uh, a wonderful wife and, and, and our children. Uh, but I'm able to go back and still enjoy those memories. But I'm also able to enjoy where God has put me today and where He is, how He's blessed us in our lives. And that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. 